Hey guys, uh, Night Owl or Ryan here. You obviously know me throughout the vlogs. Uh, it's been it's been a while since I've been on these, and I've been uh, I've been taking a little break from YouTube, and I've been losing a lot of weight. I've been losing insane amounts of weight. I'm very happy about it, but if I were to be honest, it's it's not by choice. I've been having uh. I could see uh, some financial problems since Josh moved out. Uh, turns out that having a roommate was very helpful. But, uh, yeah. Let me tell you what I've been up to. Um, it's been very hard for me to get food. Like, I survived two days off of crushed red pepper. It was, it was awful. It was very, very, very awful. And, uh, well, I got very sick. I'm still quite sick from it, but tonight I got to eat. I got, I know I shouldn't know, but I got soda. And it, it made my day because I haven't tasted something sweet in like a week. I mean, I've been eating cans of green beans and six-year-old corn, you know. it's It was nice. Tonight was a good night. Tonight was a very good night. But, uh. Something else interesting that's happened over uh, the weeks that I have been off this camera. I have been able to talk to a few YouTubers, a few big YouTubers. Um, oh God, I can only think of really two that come to mind, really. Like, I've been able to speak to Billy the Fridge. He's a pretty cool guy. I didn't... I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like his content before I met him, and I figured he was a pretty cool guy. So I check his content out, and uh, yeah, he's not just another guy of riding off Leafy's coattails. Yeah, he's friends with Leafy. Is here. Um, I met Tommy C. I was in Discord, and I didn't think it was Tommy C. I was like, "Come on, man, you're probably just some twelve-year-old trolling me, right?" And he's like, "Hey, how you doing?" Yeah, this is Tommy C. And I'm like, oh my fucking god, Tommy C. It was the real Tommy C. And we had a conversation about Baited and Keemstar, and it was amazing. It was, I learned a lot from, uh, I was a huge fan of a podcast named Baited. And it ended abruptly, and they all went their separate, well, Keemstar and Colossal went their separate ways. But, uh, yeah, I got to. Here's some inside info on that. And it was cool. It was cool to be able to talk to somebody that you've been watching on YouTube for like a year. And you, you wouldn't expect that you'd ever get to talk to them. You know? It's really cool. I mean, I could talk to him if I called into his podcast. But this wasn't a podcast. It was a one-on-one -on -one talk for like 40 minutes. And it was, it was great. Uh, I talked to Geeky Tipster. That was a cool conversation too. He actually knows Tommy C too. So small, small community, smaller community than you would think. You're probably wondering why this video is so short. Well, Josh this week didn't unfortunately upload any clips for you guys. Well, he didn't make any clips this week. I guess he's been very busy and he asked me to come out here and do it for him. So that's what I'm doing. I am not quite ready to return back to YouTube yet. Not that... <laughs> Not that anyone here gives a shit, but I'm losing this weight, and you know I'd, I'd feel more comfortable about it if I felt comfortable in my own skin before I start, you know, talking on camera again. So that's been my life. It's been hard. It's been difficult. The food shortage has sucked, and uh, too much. I isolate myself too much. I know I shouldn't, but I do it, and. It's unhealthy. It's it's messing me up. It's messing me up bad, but part of me thinks that I just enjoy being by myself. That's not true. I don't know why I do it. Maybe I just enjoy misery. Who knows? Well, guys, it was nice catching up with you. You guys have a wonderful day or night or, you know, whenever you're watching. So, uh, please like and Subscribe to my buddy, Blue Phoenix Entertainment. He's almost at 400. Make sure to share this video. 
So he can get to 400. We're so close to 400. So close. Good night, guys. Uh, you could go ahead and try and do that. That would be up to the location that you go to, whether they would like to do something like that for you or not. I could You're not providing me with the answer to my question. I'm providing you with the only answers that I have available. You just do not seem to like the answers that I am providing. Yeah, is that what it is? I'm going to destroy the company on every blog imaginable to mankind. All right, well, that is your prerogative. I really don't think it's going to have any effect on our company, but you may do so if you feel that that is necessary. Let me go ahead and find that information out for you. Give me just a moment, sir. Oh, I'll gladly hold. Please do, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hear him, Josh? Yeah, I'm telling these TVs without the proper connections. <laughs> hey, that's a broken clear drone. Wow. They have drones? Can you imagine this piece of shit? This fucking piece of fucking garbage. Wow. Hard to fucking imagine. I am looking for the information you requested. I'm not finding it readily available, so give me another moment, okay? That would be unfortunate since it would only cost you money. I'm not speaking to you. Yeah, you don't have to Josh. You can hang up on that. Yeah, but he's entertaining me. He thinks Just he's get getting to me, but he's entertaining That's me. That's what your job is. Josh? I'm sorry, can you say that again, sir? I was speaking with one of my supervisors. I said, your job is to find me the information. You don't need to make ridiculous comments. You'll know when I'm speaking to you. I've got you on the speakerphone. When I'm speaking, don't worry about it. When I'm speaking to you, I'll address you as Josh. Clear? Okay, sir, you don't need to be disrespectful. I don't feel that I'm being disrespectful to you. But uh, I understand. Are you speaking to me now? Find me the information, not speaking to you. I don't really have anything to give you. Why don't you just tell your supervisor? I've already told them. What did they say? I'm still on the search for that information. You'd think it'd be a little easier to acquire, but it's uh, surprisingly not. I wouldn't expect it would be. You would think that uh, an adapter would be readily available on a recently purchased television. But as you've addressed, apparently it's not. All right, I figured the, uh, I found the uh, CEO name for you, if you'd like to contact them. Absolutely not. I'm the vice president at this Michigan branch, the vice president of customer service, Josh Wells. I'm not interested in ambiguously speaking 
to a CEO of a company. I want the Michigan branch, the building that you're in, the vice president of that call center in customer service. Let me make it clear for you. All right, well, give me a moment. I'll see what I can provide for you, sir. Sir, I'm trying to get that information from you. They don't exactly give that to me. I don't even know who that gentleman is, but we will find it for you and try to provide it, okay? You just got to be a little more patient. I'm getting that information for you, sir. I would like your opinion, Josh. Should I put this get the Insignia Television curbside with a, a few large five notes on it describing what a piece of shit it is, or should I throw it through the fucking window so I can demonstrate? What a piece of shit it is. What would you recommend? I would say do whichever one seems a little more fun for you. That's a good answer. I'll go for that. All right, the best I can do for you regarding information as to who the boss is is giving you the vice president's of sales. No, I, I'm not interested in that. You told me I called a Michigan call center, of course. Missouri. Do you know, who, you know who the director of that call center is there? How large is that call center to unfold? You would be surprised. There's probably a good well, 600 that, people that work here. Well, that, that's really not that big. If you were going to say 10,000, that would be one thing. This is very easy to acquire. Who's in charge of the call centers on call? <sighs> they don't provide that type of information to you? Not to me. Uh, not to us in lower level employees. Only our supervisors. I'm not even sure if they have that. It's really just the top brass that... Uh, I, I don't know how to really explain it to you. It's not all just one facility. Well, Josh, you're saying... Up lower level employees, you're the guy answering my phone call. So th they should consider you the first line to make guys like me happy. Because when I'm unhappy, I make sure that other people become unhappy. Could you see that in my personality a little bit, Josh? Hmm, I remember, yeah. You could probably fairly say, yeah, I could see how you would do that. I, I would certainly see a correlation between you and my father sometimes, yes. 
I apologize. I'm just a, a, an Italian guy, and sometimes one sap blood. And that is a good example of my life at work. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, your host, the Night Owl. Well, at least, at least for this very, very short clip. I just wanted to congratulate Joshua Welch on a job well done. He is now at... Hey, knock that off. At 401 subscribers. Good job. I'm trying to ruin this small clip I'm doing. Titan dogs, right? Well, anyways, God, I don't really have anything to say except good job, Joshua. Good job, Blue Phoenix Entertainment. I am currently in the process of making a really cool 400 subscriber special, and uh, I do not know when that will be out or ever. So you could look forward to that or not. <laughs> I uh, guess I didn't have, actually have anything to say on this video. Bye.